right to all those people who were saying, oh, why are you facing? Oh, you can't win. Well, I clawed back little by little. I got fridge freezer. And they did promise me a washing machine. But because they plastered up the hole where the extraction pipe would go, they didn't want to install it. So I had to get permission and then the hole done. Then it re-delivered and blah, blah, blah. It's still not my quality, so I want my quality's washer dryer back. But, again, they're so neat. I've got a fridge freezer. I can freeze things so I'm stuffing properly. So, what did we get from time? Six of these tortilla chip changos for one pound. I know that they don't exactly go around like that. The train ticket has gone up from 180, uh, one, yeah, 180 to 240, so 60p rise now. It's like, uh, that's how much things have gone up in these two. Um, same thing. No longer do the bags for life, so my sorry state of affairs bag, they won't pop it, which is stupid, you know. So a bag for life, I want my replacements. Um, but that's anything interesting. Sample of Waitrose cake, sorry if I'm being noisy with the bag. Um, obviously it was free, but the cake was £8.40 for a big cake. It's very nice, but <laughs> I'd never get through that cake myself. Like, there was a single size person, and Maybe not quite so expensive, I know it's white shows, but eh. Anything else in here? Nothing else in that bag, that's interesting. Next bag. Oh. I apologise for being off the screen. I went into the basement. Lame joke. <laughs> yes, I had to do. Um, right, so they, 50p for two things of pork scallops, so it's not bad, 25p each for a big thing of pork coated in both ones. These were meant to be 50p each. Now, they were in a thing that was slightly defrosting, and she said, you know, they weren't even meant to be on offer, but she gave me them. That and that, both together, 50p, so two things of jalapeno bites with Chili stuffed with cream cheese with crispy breadcrumbs. 250p, not bad. And the things on the market haven't really gone up in price for five years. <laughs> Alright, sorry, we're in another bag. Hiding off the corner. On to the backpack. How much do you think I've for that? The big double size, I can't believe it's not butter. I saw it in the fridge. I couldn't ever store that in the tiny little things. You can even freeze it. So a kilo for one pound. Pretty good. Three more san, of course, one pound. Sometimes they're four for a pound. Garlic and herb one. The thick, the bigger one, so not the tiny one. There was also a cheese selection with miniature tiny war fans, six of them, and a big giant thing of brie and some camembert, but I don't like brie, <laughs> I don't like camembert, and there was another cheese in there for a pound, so it was a cheese selection. I saw that after, and my mum would have liked that, but <laughs> I'd have to freeze it because I'm not planning on going there anytime soon. But yeah, she would have liked that. Big giant cheese selection thing for a pound. With a board as well, so you know, cheese chopping boards. Pretty good. Right, there were some various different things. Oh, it's not what I thought now, looking at it. They're little reindeer things and some candy canes. And there were different things. Like, have you got a whole thing of candy canes or different things? I thought it was Cinder Toffee at a quick lamp. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, a pound for that, so you know, some sweets. Probably not as good value as it should have been. If it was Cinder Toffee, it'd been better, but they look like soft reindeer things, so God knows what that's going to be like. <laughs> we'll see. Obviously, I am the soda drinker pro. I drink two litres a day, and don't let anyone tell you it'll get you fat, because as you look at my pictures back in high school, I was thin as anything, and I drank three litres a day. Three. <laughs> And that was not sugar-free. This was before they took all the sugar out of everything. I drank Pepsi, I drank Coke, I drank Sprite, when it was cheap, you know. Not when it was like 150, 190 a bottle. It was like 50p a bottle or something. And yeah, I know, that's 50p down the road. But 17p, and I was in town today, not down the road. 
So yeah, I drink two litres a day, and it doesn't make you fat. No. <laughs> I know that I need to lose weight. Comments because I've been stuck on the sofa for all day at my mum's house, and I'm now active again. Right, so 942 grams of bacon off to Gone up from 120 three years ago to 125. 5p, you know, and the train ticket's gone up 60p. And sluggy bacon off cups, that's I separate into sandwich sized pieces, freeze them, and then they're suitable to chuck on the George Foreman grill as a block. Perfect for the sandwich, it crisps up nicely, perfectly. Yeah, a good amount. I don't know, 15, 20 slices perhaps for 125. And even if you don't use them on your sandwiches, nearly a kilo of protein, good quality protein, because bacon, you know, that's pretty good value. Then, I took a risk. Mystery tub of chocolate for one pound. Right, I haven't got this very high, so I was being on the floor. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's between everything. I know a pound isn't ideal, and yes, that's my PlayStation 2 Christmas Fairy, one of the few things I've said, even though I customised it, it's a fridge magnet. So, like, I was young, it's like, the, the things that you could do was that's mostly my sort of lady. It's like a Mintiero, but it's not. It's the taste of Mintiero, but compacted without all the air bubbles. That's quite nice. Right, I've got that. Pretty good for a pound. Now it'll sit in the fridge nicely, ready to go. <laughs> Talk with my mouth all. Yes, I know I'm being a bit manic. <laughs> Twenty p gravy granules. I bought a pack of Bisso, a kilo, for a pound. Unfortunately, it's the powder, not the granules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck them both together and hope that that mixes okay in gravy to make gravy easier rather than clumping up. Should do, I'd imagine. Right, that chocolate was very dense, so it's still in my mouth. Eating, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Was one pound fifty, now sixty p because it was a bit dented and you know, it's gonna do that in my bag anyway. So steak pie. It says puff family, steak and pie. Steak, beef stock, roast beef, onion, butter, rapeseed oil, sugar paste, I don't know, steak and onion pie I guess. But steak and pie! Obviously that can go in the freezer. Did I say about the 50p scourers? That's pretty good for a pack of multicolour scourers. Cut them in half! And you get 20, you know. And it's not going to make too much of a difference, cut them in half. Two for 50p on... They go out the dates on the 29th of January 2017. Tika paste. And... Corn paste. Not bad. I know that you can normally get better, bigger things for 50p. But essentially that's like one tub anyway. So, yeah. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to mix it down with some passata. And thin it out with... 50p for a giant pack of frozen peppers. I know it's unfrozen in my bag, but that is good value. That's fantastic value. Last but not least, I went to the Chinese supermarket and got what's chestnuts, 95p for a big giant one. And I did consider buying some other stuff. But maybe next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. I guess our bargains of today are.
two things of sunflower oil, the finest sunflower oil, litre each, pound for both, and a free bag, even though he was going to charge me five pieces for bag, and I was like, nah, I'm okay. Um, so he gave me a bag for people around me. Thing of piri piri sauce, they're normally two pounds on the market, so that's 30p, so that's pretty good. 59p for a punnet of strawberries, all perfectly good condition. 69p for five Belgian chocolate cereal bars. Not that I'll be doing any festivals. Jake was asking, am I going to do any festivals this year? Unfortunately not, because issues, you know, the whole thing where it caused me to lose my house in the first place, where they illegally withheld my benefits for, yeah. Was it nine months? Nine months in the end before they even paid part of it. Even though they were supposed to be paying it, they came up with excuses, they had some proofs they didn't need, they lost those proofs, they denied those proofs, and they just put it through a lot of bullshit. It's just not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth the hassle and the risk for, what is it, 90 quid, 100 quid for the weekend, maybe, you know, because it's split over two weeks, so it'd be like 80, 90 quid for one week. It Maybe it depends on the owners because sometimes you get like hardly any, or sometimes you get a lot, but it's never more than 120 130 quid after tax, and that's for two weeks essentially because it's split over two weeks, and that's less than the job seekers. And they'd cut off job seekers, so they'd cut off housing benefits, they'd cut off council tax. So, no, <laughs> it's like 85 pounds a week rent that I need to pay. Um, no, I'm not risking that, I can't pay that, and you know, there's other bills on top of that. 59p for a thing of milk. I can get them two for a pound in Iceland, but I didn't bother today. And then, uh, hassle. Saves me freezing one. 65p for a thing of six eggs. They're large eggs, and they're all in good condition. So, not bad. Of course, there's Iceland. Not Iceland, I mean, co op where. Bread's always cheap. 29p for medium watering toast. Suitable for toast, suitable for everything. I paid on, on that 67p <laughs> from Mr. Kip and Paper. I could get it cheaper on the market. So I thought, hey, it's worth it. And the same for this 70p for some caramel bites. They're normally two pounds. So double chocolate brownie cake bites. I splashed that. <laughs> I couldn't resist. A free piece of bread from the charity shop. If it's free, I'm not going to say no. There's still more to come. Now I'm in the basement, getting into that by the I said so two kilos of chicken food for three pounds. Now, they're chicken leg quarters. I can cut them in half when they're in the to do it and make them into two meals or with the peri peri sauce, I can recreate Nando's. <laughs> Keep as anything Nando's. So, what do you think, guys? <laughs> like homemade Nando's. I have some other things to come. Right, 59p for a thing of Haribo Minions. Again, I splashed out because, hey, I've been not feeling fantastic. So, yeah, it's kind of a waste, but I wanted some jelly sweets, and that's a ton of jelly sweets, and 59 beads not bad for that, really. And a candle for 20p, and a little cup from a charity shop for 10p. So, you know, not that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.